back with the next update for the uh, Infinity Sun Jar. And I got the new circuit boards in, and they are really small. Look at that U1 right there, the five pins. You can, it's going to be fun soldering this. This is going to be the first time I've done full SMD, except for six pins. As you see in the back, that's all that goes through it. One for the uh, LED itself. And then one for the supercapacitor and one for the solar panel connection. Everything else is all surface mount. So I'm going to turn the camera around and you can watch me uh, solder this up and then we'll test it and see if I got it right. Okay, I got the board taped down so it won't move on me. And if you look over here, I got all my components. And you can see basically how small they are in relation to that standard LED there. And I got my trusty new hacko set up so I'm gonna put the camera on the uh, actual circuit board itself here and uh, watch me see if I can get this right Okay, I cleaned off all the uh, leftover flux on the board, plugged in the supercapacitor, plugged in the solar panel, and just to save time, I charged up the uh, supercapacitor with two AA batteries, just enough so I can hit the one volt threshold so that the um, boost, boost chip actually kicks on. I believe it's sitting at like 0.7 volts right now, and it's bright as can be. Let me see here. One, two. Yep, 0.7 volts. And let me get the meter out of the way. And we're just going to use a uh, little flashlight here to uh, simulate sun. You see, I can barely even touch the solar panel, and it will shut itself off. It's pretty dark in this room, believe it or not. So, it is working exactly the way I actually designed it, and it works so much better than the old boards, which are, let me see here. Got one of my old boards here. If you remember these, had all the transistors that was running it and the one big inductor. Never worked very well. So now we're going to go with this whole system. I'm going to zoom in on the final product here for a second. Let's see here, telephoto. And let's see if I can have a steady hand. There you go. That is the final product. The only thing I might do before I actually go into production, I'm thinking of instead of having two pairs of wires, one pair for the solar uh, for the uh, solar cell and one for the supercapacitor, redesigning the board now that I got the circuit correct, which is actually really easy to redesign it now, and eliminate one pair of wires instead of having a uh, square or a rectangle board. I'll make it so that it's round and actually sits right on top of the uh, supercapacitor and basically holds on by the two pins of the supercapacitor itself. This way, the only two wires you'll have is the... I got a loose connection on one of my wires here. The only two wires you'll have is for the solar panel itself. So that eliminates a little more guesswork and makes it easier. So I'm going to make a decision on that in a few days. I'm going to jump back onto uh, the KiCad, which is the uh, software that I use to design this circuit. And see if I can redesign it into a circle that will fit right over top of the supercapacitor. And that'll make it easier for me, it'll make it easier for everyone else. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments area and always read my description area. I always put more information inside there. Thanks a lot, and uh, I finally made it work!